One of the very exciting capabilities we've added to WordPerfect Office X5 is Web Services. For those of you not familiar with Web Services, it's a way to connect online with data. It relieves some of the past restrictions of having to know exactly how to hook up to data stored in back-end databases or other systems. In this case, I'm going to connect to a web service that provides movie and theater information based on their proximity to a specific zip code. In order to retrieve that information from this web service, I do need to provide the specific URL or web link to connect to that service. That's information that you would also need depending on the web service that you're connecting to. In this scenario, let's say I want to create a document that has movie listings for all the theaters in my area. In WordPerfect, we've had the ability to link or import data from spreadsheets and databases for some time. But now when I go to Insert, Spreadsheets and Databases, I can select Web Services and link to the information that way. I can choose how to import this data, whether it's in a table format or as variables. In this example, we're going to keep it in a simple table format. I'm going to paste the URL or link to this web service. And when I click Configure, the database system for that web service is pinged and supplies the query parameters I can provide to filter the data that I want returned. In this case, I need to enter a zip code and a mile radius so I can find just the theaters around a particular area. I click OK, and it will bring back the fields that I can now use. I can use these field names as headings in my table, and you'll see what happens when I run this query. What it's doing now is going to grab all of the data that we have up on that server and bring it back into WordPerfect. What you'll notice is that it's brought back a fair amount of data and includes all of the movie times and the movies playing. In fact, if we look at the headers, I have theater name, address, movie rating, movie title, duration, and show times. That's a fairly simple example of perhaps creating a flyer to show theater schedules in my area. Imagine the other uses for this in your own organization when it comes to things like financial planning or budgeting.